Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about Arizona, something that occurred there, and what it means for events 160 years later, and how it is uh, likely to uh, influence things in the future. Okay, so it wasn't too long ago that uh, former President Trump said that he was proudly the person responsible for, uh, for taking down Roe. That event, Roe going away, it set a chain of events into motion. And uh, we've, we've talked about it numerous times. The Republican Party became the dog that caught the car it was chasing. In Arizona, that car drove the Republican Party back to 1864. The Supreme Court there in the state said that a law from 1864 that was, I want to say it was codified and updated in 1901 and 1913 as well. Um, that, that it was okay. It was, that was all right. So from a period before Arizona was even a state, and even the updates occurred before women could vote. But that's going to be on the books. Now, the AG, the Attorney General out there, has indicated that uh, there's not a high likelihood of it really being enforced. Uh, the exact wording was, let me be clear, as long as I am Attorney General, no woman or doctor will be prosecuted under this draconian law in this state. Okay. Now, I understand that sentiment. Politicians, please stop saying it like that. <laughs> um, you don't have the resources to do this. It will be a low priority. Don't just say you're not going to enforce a law. Um, it, it doesn't uh, doesn't always play well. In this case, I don't think it's going to be an issue. So here are some facts. In 2020, in Arizona, they had a pretty uh, decent turnout, almost 80 percent. Biden got uh, 1,672,000 votes and change. Trump got 1,661,000 votes and change. Biden won. Now, unless you can think of some major policy issue that is going to turn Biden voters into Trump voters, um, especially when you consider all of the good the Biden administration has done for Arizona when it comes to jobs and a whole bunch of other things. And whatever that policy issue is, it has to be more than what is going to be shifted by this decision. It is going to have to be more than what is created as far as support for Biden when it comes to this 160-year-old law now governing the lives of women in that state. Unless you can think of something, I cannot. How do they say it? I've seen enough. I'm going to go ahead and call Arizona for Biden. You caught the car, gentlemen. Most times, the dog is smart enough to let go. Um, this is a big deal. This is a state that Biden needs, and this is going to uh, probably help him get it in a big way. At some point in this country, we are going to have to uh, realize that politicians put out a lot of statements they have a lot of talking points. They have a lot of issues that they pretend are really things with two sides. 
that they really are things that the country is divided about. If you look at the results of, of any of the votes that have taken place, you're going to find out that this isn't an issue with two sides. The overwhelming majority of Americans shares one opinion on this. And that is that bodily autonomy is a thing. And that the government should respect that. That seems to be the core element that's uh, being debated. So, this, barring something just really bizarre, really out there, this just gave Biden a huge boost in Arizona. I do not know that it is something the Republican Party can recover from, to be honest. Now, to those people who are impacted by the 160-year-old law. The Attorney General seems to be on your side. I would be incredibly careful. I would be incredibly careful. Um, I, I would, before you undertake any action, I would talk to an attorney. Uh, I would... I would be very aware of it um, and just be conscious of what the state Supreme Court has said. That attorney general may protect you. Not all will. So it is uh, probably in your interest if this is something that concerns you, to uh, make your views known come November. I think there's a, a vote about it. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.